Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Pixie and I'm back with another video. Um, If you guys are new to this channel, welcome to Pixie's World. If you guys are not, welcome back. Um, Today's video is going to be a story time slash um, video about dance moves, stage presence when you're dancing at the strip club as a dancer, as an exotic dancer. And um, my short story time about how I got kicked off a stage the first time um, I danced um, on stage. Um, but before we get into the video, y'all, please subscribe, please like, please comment, please share, please show your girl some love. Um, y'all already know my Instagram is painted by pixie underscore dot zero o. Um, I make dance outfits for the girls, for exotic dancers at Chorla Pearl by pixie underscore dot zero o. And my regular Instagram is pixie underscore dot zero o. Um, okay, guys. So I'm going to tell you my short story first, and then I'm going to get into stage presence and all that good stuff. Okay, so um, I don't even know if I never mentioned this on my YouTube video, but I guess today's the day. Um, so... <laughs> It's just funny thinking about it now. So when I first started dancing or whatever, um, you know, I was at like kind of like a little hole in the wall, but the money was all right there. Um, but I remember um, I, basically I, this girl was supposed to meet me and I, um, I'm assuming that she was going to give me a few dance moves or tell me what to do before I got on the stage or whatever. And um, she never showed up. Uh, well, she showed up, but like three and four hours later, like, but she kind of left me kind of hanging or whatever but basically um i got on stage or whatever it's my turn to audition or whatever and i got on stage and i remember when i was dancing like i was dancing you know how like when you dancing you swinging on the pole you using it as a prop like i was dancing as if like the pole was a person and i was giving it a wally like i just it was a hot mess i just remember it being a hot mess and i just remember being super duper nervous and um I, um, basically, um, stopped dancing or whatever. Like I got off a of stage and then the guy, the boss was like, not mean, but he was on some, like, basically like, you got to watch a couple more girls dance or whatever. And then you could try again. And I watched a couple girls dance or whatever. And he let me, he let me get back on. And I, I probably was a little bit better, but I was still a hot ass mess. And I feel like he only hired me because I was pretty, but that started out like my dance career or whatever. And, um, I think that, um, I, I just remember for a long time, like, you know how girls are like, they'll try to like make it seem like they joking, but they be dead ass serious. I know for forever girls was like, oh, she can't dance. Like they used to tease me like, oh, you know, you can't dance, but they'll be trying to make it as a joke. But like. They was dead ass serious. Like, my ass couldn't dance or whatever. And um, it's crazy because now I think I'm pr a pretty good dancer. Um, I'm medi like, okay, on the pole. I won't say mediocre, but, like, I, I mean, honestly, I'm not going to say I'm not mediocre. But what I will say is that dance shit has changed. And it's not a lot of girls who even get on the pole no more. Everybody's tricking and just shaking their ass i got a piece of hair on my leg okay here we go everybody's just tricking and shaking their ass like you'd be surprised when you go to the club and how many dancers it is and how many girls actually get on stage like it's not that many so i won't say that i'm mediocre but i would just say like mm, I, i'm I, I i think i'm not an a plus i would give myself like a b b minus like i'm not the most incredible dancer in the world but also most girls who be dancing are really skinny and tiny and i'm not saying don't know thick girls dance because it do be but it's very rare uh we got a lot of body weight to pick up so it's like a lot of thick girls don't get on the pole and just a lot of everybody don't get on the pole it ain't even about a thick or none of that that don't matter but um yeah so um yeah um, but you know, I don't want to wrap up that story. I want to draw it out because like on to the next point that I'm trying to make. Okay. So the, the purpose of this video basically is about like stage presence basically. And, um, I don't have no particular advice about how you should go about dancing or what you should do on a pole. Everybody's different, but I do think that 
when you're beginning and when you're first starting out, I'm going to always say when in doubt, move slow. So, and what I mean by that is, um, if it's a dance move you're not really sure about and you don't really know if you can master it, if you doing it and you take your time, it's easier for you to play it off when it don't go accordingly than when you try to hurry up and do it. Now, if you've been dancing for a while and you, you there, go for it. Like, fuck it up, sis. But when you new, like, take your time. And I feel like taking your time will help you learn um, better. Uh, we got this thing called transitions. And that's where I suck that. And what transitions is, it's like going from one move smoothly to the next move. So, like, transitions to me was, like, my biggest struggle. Um, when it comes to dancing on the pole, like I would do one move and it'll be good. But the next thing you know, I'm sitting on the ground for like three seconds or five seconds trying to make like figure out what my next move going to be before I go get to the next move. And it's like people can notice that pause and that unsure. Like when you they staring at you, you sexy, you looking good. So they're staring at you. You know, they're looking. So um, I'll use an example, like say like I go climb up the pole and then I come upside down when you go upside down you want to come down smoothly and then like say you like stumbling then you just hit him with a cute little beyonce jump pop your back back and something like that and then do a split i used to do like the move then just be standing there for like a second and then go into the next move like that's i don't know if you guys can understand the concept of what i mean but it's just like if you a dancer or if you ever dance, you know what I mean. Like, you can't just bust one mood, da 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 and then, and then go bust the other. But you got to be like, and then you slick back, and then you turn it to the next move, if you if you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> I'm cracking up at myself. But if you get what I'm trying to say, transition is, like, key. And, like, like I said, it's like, you know how you hear a rap music? If a, if a rapper can dance, rap fast on a slow beat, then you can dance slow on a fast beat. I don't care how fast that beat is. I don't care how, I mean, that beat going, slow down. Um, find the rhythm of the, find the rhythm of the music and you can, trust me, I do it all the time, even with fast songs. I'm, I, I don't, I'm not a fast dancer. I'll say I'm a medium dancer. Like, if a son that's beat, I'll pop my booty out. I mean, but I'm not a super duper fast dancer. Like, I'm I'm thicker. I'll be taking me a while to catch my breath. Like, I, I, you know what I mean? I don't have that stamina, like, for, like, running really so much. So, I'm not a fast dancer. I can't. I'm just get starting to get in this shape. I'm not. I don't got it like that. I'm going to just keep it a bean. So, um, I always say, like, when in doubt, move slow. Um what else can I say about dancing? Um, when you get on stage, keep in mind that it's a lot of people staring at you. So, like, make sure your feet is done. Make sure your outfit look all right. Make sure you don't look raggedy. Like, people's, the attention all is on you at the time. So, it's like, people are looking at every single thing and you don't want to not get tipped because of one stupid thing. Like, your toenails chipped and... Um, a lot of people don't know this, but like, I can't really speak for the younger guys, but I'll speak for like the older guys. Cause like a lot of clubs I work at, it'd be like older men in there. They be checking you out. Like they be really looking like I, I caught a customer, like staring down at my feet, like trying to see if my toes was done. So, um, just make sure, um, you, you on point when you, when you getting on stage. And like I said, take your time because it is. It's easier to fix a mistake when you slow down than it is um, when you moving kind of fast. Um, like I said, I used to suck at dancing. I was I was trash, um, and I actually think I'm alright now. I am me personally. I am a sensual dancer. I I like to dance slow. I prefer slow songs or songs that make me feel sexy. But like if something like Megan come on, don't get it fucked up. I'm dancing. Like I love me some Megan. I love her music. Like I love Megan music because it just it to me, it's like a confidence builder. I feel like where everybody else is talking about, like, like she do it too, but I feel like while everybody else is talking about like I want his money, I'ma get it back. I feel like Megan is like, 
I got my own bag. I might take yours too, but I still got my own. Like, Megan is so like, it's about me. It's about me and my girls. We got this. We fly. Like, you know I mean, stuff like that. Like, you need us. We don't need you. Like, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah, so like, I love slow songs and I love sensual songs. But even after a while, like, say I'm dancing on the stage for like five songs and every song is slow, I'm gonna be like, Oh, well, like, you know, y'all could have changed it up. But if every song is fast, I'm going to feel the same way. So, um, and then, like, I don't really like trap music, but I'll go to different clubs and most of them be urban. So I've gotten used to it. But even with the, even with the urban songs, you can, you, like I said, you're not going to move with certain slow, slow, but you want to, you, it's, it's, you can find your speed for the song. You don't always have to dance fast. Like I see girls who be dancing, they, they be up in the pole and flipped up they, by the 10, by the 10 in 10 seconds. I cannot do that. I'm not there yet. But, um, yeah, like just, just make sure like you up the par and just make sure, you know, you feeling confident about yourself and, um, being on stage is scary. Um, I used to never wanted to get on stage. I used to, it used to take me, I just probably started getting comfortable with getting on stage probably like in the last like maybe 10 months. I used to avoid getting on stage or I used to just go up there like when it was like really nobody really worried about it. Um, and that's another thing. I don't know how every, every club is different. You got some girl, you got some clubs where, um, th they rotate it. So it's like they'll call girls names. And then you got some clubs where it's just like, if nobody's on it, you can get on it. And I'm going to give you all advice about that when it comes to the whole. Girls will only want to fight for this. If it's like nobody's worried about the stage, nobody's worried about the stage. As soon as they see one person making money, then they want to get on stage. And it become like a fight damn near. Like people fighting over who's going to get on the stage next. I'm not into that. If I got an opportunity to get on the stage, then I'll get on the stage. Or I'll try to get on the stage next. But if I see that girls is about to be making a big ass deal about it and they about to be fighting over getting on stage, then it's just be like, all right, like I'm just I'm I'm not I'm not that price, I don't be that deep. Like, you know what I mean? So um every club is different. Like I said, some clubs you actually get stage sets and they keep it on rotation. I actually like that better. But then it's, it, it also depends because sometimes you don't want to get on stage. And most of the time when you're in rotation, you kind of got to get on stage. So um, that just depends on like you or whatever. But um, I don't know. I, I um, Let me see. As far as dance moves that I feel, splits is always just the shit. I feel like people love splits. Climbing, a little bit of twirling. You know, like I said, guys, like. You don't have to be a pro at dancing to make it sexy. I know some girls who've been dancing a whole dance career and they never danced on the pole. Not not saying at all, but they not skilled on the pole. What I mean is like they could do a couple twirls and they could do a couple spins and they can make it look sexy or they do really good floor work, but they don't know how to do inverts and they don't know how to, you know, climb upside down and do all that. Like a lot of girls don't do that. And I'm, and I'm not saying that you don't, you should or you shouldn't. To me, I like to because I don't like to be a one-trick pony. When I don't feel like being in the guy's faces, I like to get on stage or whatever the case may be. So that's just my preference. But, like, no, you don't have to know how to fully, like, really do all these tricks. But, like, what I will say is work on your transitions and work on your body language and get comfortable with yourself. Um, You don't have to be a pro to uh, on a pole to make good money. I've seen girls that don't really get on stage at all or barely and they still make good money. Um, and that's another thing you got to realize. Some clubs are pole clubs and some clubs are like ass shaking clubs. And what I mean by that is like you got upscale clubs and like King of Diamonds and shit like that. Where it's like they throwing money in the air to see girls really fuck it up on a pole. But then you got other clubs where it's like they them girls get on stage and them niggas barely paying any mind. So, um... It just depends on what kind of club you is. Like I always say, do your research at the clubs. But like, not every club do you have to get on stage. But if you are going to get on stage, or I would suggest, even if you're not a stage person, try to build a little bit of stage presence and work on your transitions. 
because you never know where it's a night where you're just like, I don't feel like lap dancing or I don't feel like doing an ass shake and I'm going to just go on stage. Like, have options so you can be able to decide what you want to do. Um, but um, I feel like I did enough talking. Um, I hope this video was good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I don't got particular dance moves for you. I, I don't. I feel like every dancer is different and what you like to dance, dance to your comfortability. You know if you like slash music or slow music. So I'm not really about that. I'm all about individual visuality and creativity. So I'm not about to sit there and tell nobody to do something my way. I want y'all to do y'all shit y'all way. I, I want y'all to shine the way how y'all shine, not the way how I shine. We different. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys. Um, Please keep supporting your girl. Um, y'all already know what I'm going to say. Please pray to God. Please protect y'all peace. And I'm going to see y'all in another video. Mwah.